The single biggest improvement your app can make for networking performance has to do with reducing the sheer number of requests made. But rather than just avoiding data syncing altogether, how exactly do you pull that off? My name is Cole McCandless, and if you're looking for the optimal way to batch requests to reduce overall network traffic, then prefetching is for you. Uh, think of it this way. Your app makes a request for a specific piece of data, and then uh, sometime in the future, it makes a request for another piece of data, and uh, so on and so forth. Each individual request has specific overhead associated with it, and may end up in a weird pattern of waking up the radio each time to make the request. Prefetching is about predicting what data would be in those future requests and grabbing all that data now while there's an active radio connection. The benefit here is that each radio request has some overhead in terms of time that it takes to wake up the radio and battery drain that's taken as a result of its keep awake time. Being able to bundle future requests together and do them now means being able to reduce that overhead and save precious battery life. But prefetching is a uh, tricky balancing problem. Uh, prefetch too little and you'll end up not optimizing your bandwidth effectively. And prefetching too much means the user is going to be waiting even longer for the results. So now we come to our simple question. How much data is in a good prefetch? Well, uh, the general rule of thumb is that on a 3G connection, a quality prefetch is about uh, one to five megs of data. Uh, of course, that's with the understanding that the data will be needed and used by the user. So you could look at this another way and say, prefetch as much data as the user might need in the next one to two minutes of their active session. But in honesty, one of the biggest things your prefetch needs to optimize for has to be for the speed of the device connection. Uh, for example, if the user is on a 4G connection, you may be able to connect and fetch 12 new photos, which takes the same amount of time as uh, prefetching three photos on a 2G connection. So uh, modifying your prefetching code to take into account the quality of the user's connection is the best way to create optimal fetch cases. And it's worth pointing out that the easiest way to determine the health of the network is simply to time how long it takes for some known piece of content to return from a request. Uh, with a few simple calculations and a handy lookup table for common network speeds, you can quickly determine what type of network the user is connected to and adjust your fetching and requests accordingly. It's also worth pointing out that the real sweet spot here has to be executing batched requests uh, that you know were delayed to be issues but have been on the wait cycle, and uh, future requests, aka prefetching, into a single activity radio window. That's when things start to get really awesome. And the good news is that you can update your app to adopt these patterns without having to write a massive amount of code. GCM Network Manager is a Google Play Services API which helps to schedule network-oriented tasks and handle batching for you. Uh, this greatly simplifies the implementation of common patterns uh, such as waiting for network connectivity, network retries, and exponential backoff. Basically, it's all the stuff you need with a single helpful API. And when it comes to performance, you need all the helpful APIs you can get, and uh, helpful videos too. Which is why you should check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns content, and don't forget to join our Google Plus community as well. So, keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters. <laughs> <laughs>